Thank you for choosing the iShields brand screen protection system, the original patented screen protection system for electronic devices. In this video, we will take you step by step through the installation process of the iShields product. We will show you how to properly and easily install our protective film to your device so that it will be protected against dings, nicks, smudges, and scratches. It is recommended that you watch the entire video before attempting to apply your iShields film to your device. First, start by picking a clean, flat, well-lit install area that is free of lint or dust and away from any fans or breezy areas. Remove your device from any phone case that it may be in and check to make sure there is no other type of protective film that needs to be removed. Wash your hands to remove any dirt, oils, or lotions. Let's begin. We'll be using an iPhone 4 in this video to install our iShield screen protection system onto. First, begin by powering down your device, or if possible, remove your battery. This step is very important. Next, remove the contents from your iShield's packaging and place them in front of you. Inside the front pocket of the flap, you will find the warranty card. Remove this, as well as the squeegee and the iShield solution bottle, from the opposite side of the packaging. Now that you have removed all of the items, you may place your box aside. Open your warranty card and remove your iShield's film and microfiber cloth. Installation instructions are also printed inside the warranty card in three languages, English, French, and Spanish. You will need to keep this card in order to register your iShield's product online, which activates your warranty. Your phone must be cleaned before installation to remove any lint, dirt, oil, or makeup. Having a clean surface is extremely important. Any residue left on the screen will be visibly trapped under the film once it's applied. To clean your device screen, simply spray a small amount of solution to the corner of your microfiber cloth, as shown, and wipe down the surface of the device which you'll be applying the film to. Make sure to remove all residue and fingerprints, because once again, any fingerprints or residue left on your device screen will be visible through the eye shields film. Check for any lint that may have been attracted to your device and remove it. You can check by tilting your device towards light and viewing it from an angle. Once you are satisfied that your device is clean, you are ready for the next step. Now, pick up your eye shields film in your hand and place your device in front of you in the same direction you are holding your film. Make sure the cutouts on your film are facing the same direction as the openings on your device. Next, spray the eye shield solution onto your fingertips and onto the upper right corner of the film, as shown. From the wet corner, peel the film back and into your hands with the adhesive side facing up, being very careful not to touch the adhesive side of the film, as this may leave fingerprints. While holding the film in your hand, spray an even amount of solution to the film, making sure to cover the entire area without spraying so much solution that it is dripping off of the film. Now it's time to lay the film onto your device. Do not try to line the film up to your device while holding the film in the air over your device. The solution dries quickly and holding it too long will cause the solution to evaporate. The correct way is to simply lay the film onto the screen and adjust its positioning then. Once you have laid your film onto your device, if it is not aligned properly, do not lift the film back up and try again. The entire purpose of the solution is to allow you to adjust the positioning of the film once it's laid down you will have plenty of time to align the film properly. Make sure to evenly align the speaker and button openings on your device, as well as evenly spacing the film from the edges of your device, as shown. Next, lay your device on its side and tilt it at a slight angle. With one hand, gently hold your device so that you are securing a small section of the film as well with your fingertips. Using medium pressure, begin to squeegee the bottom half of the film, making sure to work away from any speaker or button openings. If solution does enter these areas, simply dry it with your microfiber cloth or lightly blow into the wet area to remove any solution. Then flip your device onto the opposite side and repeat this process. After you have finished squeegeeing, you can again tilt your phone at an angle into the light and look for areas that you may have missed. Small solution bubbles are common and will dry on their own. However, if you see bubbles the size of small seeds, you can remove these. To remove any solution bubbles, 
simply squeegee the areas again, as shown. Remember to use medium pressure. Using too much pressure will cause your film to stretch and peel up. Do not be concerned with removing every tiny bubble, as these will all disappear during the drying process. Once you are finished squeegeeing, you may wipe down your device with your microfiber cloth. Again, be sure to use only light pressure, because your install is still fresh and the solution is not yet dry. Now you may turn your device back on. Your device may now be used normally. However, we strongly advise that you do not put it into any cases, pockets, or purse. We recommend you wait at least 24 hours so that the solution has a chance to dry completely and the film adhesive can set properly. Thank you for choosing the iShields brand screen protection system. Your device is now protected against dings, nicks, smudges, and scratches.